Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our live stream theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family, bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see, delightful snacks to nibble, a fun, pleasant evening for all. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The management of this drive-in theater is happy to announce you can enjoy your favorite form of movie entertainment regardless of rain. No longer will it be necessary to let rain spoil your fun. Now you can keep your windshield clear and dry with a drizzle guard. Simply attach it to your windshield, and in a jiffy, you're enjoying the movie without constantly running your windshield wipers. A drizzle guard will save you gasoline and wear and tear on your battery. After the show is over, all you do is take off your drizzle guard, roll it up, and it's ready to be used again, just like an umbrella. So next time it rains, don't sizzle in a drizzle. Get yourself a drizzle guard and enjoy the show. Drizzle guards are on sale now at the concession center. Only one minute till showtime. For your convenience, the refreshment stand will remain open during the show.
You're dead meat, fat boy. Come on, you son of a bitch! Huh? We're getting close. <laughs> Caught me off guard. It's not going to happen again. I know. <clears throat> Colonel Hogan, here are the recruits. My name's Hogan, commander of this outfit. You'll address me as Colonel Hogan, nothing else. Why do you want to be a part of this outfit? I like the money. What about you, the money? The same. And you? I'm here for the fun. What's your name, soldier? Cooper, Jack Cooper. Now, I don't know what you men heard about this organization, but if you think it's going to be an easy score, you better walk out of here while you still can. Colonel Hogan. Shut up! Now, this ain't the Army. It ain't the Navy. It ain't the Marine Corps. 
You better get that straight. Because I'm one hell of a lot meaner than any of them. Now, I know you men are good. That's why you're here. But you're not good enough, not yet. You want to be part of this outfit. You've got to be the very best at what you do. You prove that to me. You'll be the highest paid mercenaries anyway. You don't. You'll die right here. I don't have any use for you. Your training will start in the morning. I suggest you get plenty of rest. You're going to need it. We don't play games here. When we train, it's for real. That's it. Get these men in uniform. Follow me. How did the exercise go? Not good. The runner took out one of our men. Damn it! We got a bunch of damn Girl Scouts out there. We'll run the exercise again tomorrow. Take a couple of the men and go get another runner. A mean one. You got it. How about this guy? No, he's no good. You. It's a good thing. I know. Hurry after breakfast for the call. Hurry up. This guy looks like he'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, he's the one. Hey, Fred, I wonder if you can help me out. Yeah, what do you need? My buddy over here made a wrong turn someplace. We're looking for Main and Fort Street. Uh, yeah. Go straight down this road till you hit Main. Make a left. You should have fourth and about. Hey, thanks a lot. What are you doing here, Michelson? The question is, what the hell are you doing here, Hogan? We had an agreement. You pay the bills, I run the operation. That's the way it's going to stay. I'm a businessman, Hogan, not a fool. It takes time to get the best from these men. I need at least three more months. Three months? I'll give you one. One month. 
At the end of which time, I want this operation ready for action. You got that. No way. It can't be done. I need more time. You're running out of time. I want this bunch of misfit mercenaries ready for action in one month, not one day more, or I'll pull the plug on this whole operation. And you too. Don't threaten me, Michelson. You're supposed to be the best at what you do. Do it better. One month. Exercise is underway, Colonel. Good. Maybe this one will last more than 10 minutes. I'm going to ask you some questions, and if you give me the right answers, I'm going to make you a deal. Do you understand? Where are we? 70, 75 miles southeast of Los Angeles. What the hell's going on here? Training. Mercenary training. Colonel, don't believe in war games. Lex T used the real thing. Who is this Colonel? What's his name? Hogan! Colonel Hogan! John Hogan? Yeah. I think so. How long has this been going on? How many people have died? I, I, I don't know. Wrong answer. I don't know. I don't know, really. I just joined today. <laughs> Bad timing.
Colonel, they've got my weapons. Kill him. Daddy, Daddy, please come as soon as you get this message. They, someone took Michael and I'm afraid that he's hurt. I don't know what to do, Daddy, please hurry. I need you. You too. Van out. Left and right. Stay here. Exactly what happened. Go ahead. Okay. Mike went out to take out the trash this morning. Mm -hmm. And I heard a lot of noise. And so when I went to the window to see what happened, I saw this man hit him over the head with a pipe or something. And then they dragged him into the van and it took off. Call the police. No, Daddy. I know you're retired, but I wanted to call you first. In the van. What kind of van? What color? Well, I don't know the make, but it was the kind of van without the windows. You know, like a delivery truck? Um, and it was green. Was it light green, dark green? Dark green. But it was a funny kind of green, like army green. This is very important. Think hard. The license plate, the number. Get it? It's not part of it. Well, any part. Um, two. Two. Four. Four. Seven. Seven, you sure? Two, four, seven? No. It was four, two, seven. Four, two, seven? Four, two, seven. Jamie, you positive? Mm-hmm. Four, two, seven. Daddy, is that enough to bring Michael back? Well, we hope so, darling. I run it by the boys down at the station. <laughs> Been on the force there for 30 years, so I got a little pull. I'll come up with something, don't worry. Please bring him back to me, Daddy. Well, I better get on it. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Jimmy. One more thing, very important. When I leave here, keep all the doors and windows locked. Don't let anyone in until you hear from me. You got that? Yes. Bye. Be careful, Daddy.
No, Hogan! What do you want? They're dead. They're all dead. What the hell are you talking about? The men! They're all dead. The runners killed them all. What? I don't believe it. It's true. Every damn one of them. Get the men. We're moving out. Guys are broke. Split up and move out. I want this son of a bitch dead. I know this. I know this style. It's my style. Danton? Mike Danton? It's gotta be. Yeah, that was the name on the mailbox. Why? You know him? Know him? I trained him. seen you since the time you took a bullet trying to save my life. What the hell are you doing with these guys? Hell, I ain't never been good at pumping gas. Find another war, Jack. Any sign of them? Just bodies. 
It'll be sunset in an hour. He's trying to draw us deep into the woods. He wants to catch us in there after dark. Let me go after him. Take your chance, Thornton. I don't want to lose any more men tonight. Let's move it out. Take as many men as you need and seal off a quarter mile perimeter. We camp here for the night. Right. We can't just let him get away. He won't do that. Not yet. He knows he's safe here. He'll take the time, rest, he'll find some food. He'll be here in the morning. Wondering what's going through his mind? No. I know what's going through his mind. I taught it to him. He went through our men like they were just toy soldiers. Compared to him, they're not even that good. Not yet. That bastard was the best goddamn soldier I ever had under my command. I'd give anything to have 20 men just like him. Bastards. Those stupid, dumb bastards. I gave them ten years of my life. I tried to show them how to create the most perfect killers ever. They wouldn't listen. They said I was crazy. The war is fucking crazy. But it worked. 
my methods worked. He's living proof that my methods worked. What do I get for it? Booted out of the army, my walking papers, a lousy $600 a month pension. A stupid bastard. You created him. You trained him. You can do it with the rest of them. You're damn right I can. And I will, I will. What about them? What about him? What the hell are you gonna do with them? First, I want to talk to him. What? Then I'll kill the son of a bitch with my own two hands. Good. Get me another beer. Now! It's over, Hogan. Get your men out of here and crawl back into the hole you came out of. You're playing a game that you can't win. Don't try. Don't try or I swear to God I'll kill every one of you. You know I can. You made me the best. Well, I still am. <laughs> Up, boy. Now hold on, boy. Don't go jumping up all half cocked. Just lower that knife down real slow, like. I believe you better do as well says. Now why don't you get up and go before I get a mind to fill your behind full of bird shot? Go on, get. <laughs> around the woods with no clothes on. Well, that boy's been eating rats. <laughs> Don't surprise me none. Them city folks will eat anything. Move it out. What the hell's going on here? Shut up. Was that your fire back there? Who the hell wants to know? Was that your fire back there? No, it wasn't ours. Where is he? Where is he? I ain't saying. Your turn. How far? Not 10 minutes ago. Move out.
End of story. Lieutenant! I want that man alive! Lieutenant! How many, John? What? How many innocent people have you drug off the streets to kill playing your little games? Does it matter? It does to me. Get off it, Danton. You know as well as I do you can't train fighting men without an enemy. You trained me. And you were different. You were one in a thousand. There's a lot of money out there, Danton. A lot of would-be dictators just willing to pay any price for my services. Millions just waiting to be plucked. And you, you're worth ten times more to me than any man I have. With the possible exception of Lieutenant Thornton, of course. What happened to you, Holden? What really happened to you? How does a man go from being, being the highest decorated officer in his special forces to Becoming some goddamn blood-sucking mercenary. That was their army. This was mine. All mine. And I can write the price tag. Blood money. It's all green. Right. I trained you, Danton. You owe me. I paid my dues in the war. I owe you nothing. Join me, damn it! No way. I'm going to give you a little time to rethink your situation, Danton. Very little time. Hogan! I made you a promise last night. I'm going to keep it. You're going to lose.
I want to talk to you. I don't have time for this garbage now, Michelson. You gave me one month. Come back then. You just sit down, shut up, and listen to me, mister. You've gone too far. It's out of control. I'll take care of it. Just get the hell out of here. You'll take care of it? When? I'll take care of it. I have the man here right now. You do that. Now, I don't care if you crack a few heads and break a few bones. That's business. I understand that. But save the killing for overseas. I know what I'm doing here, Michelson. I know it better than any man alive. Then you find a way to do it better. Because I'm not sinking millions of dollars into an operation so you can go off on some personal vendetta and implicate me in murder and kidnapping. Don't be stupid, Hogan. If I go, the operation goes, and that's not my game plan. So take care of this Danton character and go back to business. Bitch. We're going after him, and this time, kill him!
freeze, asshole! Don't even think about it! Nice shot. Looks like you need a little help. You cut my ropes back at the tent. Yeah, well, just don't let it get around, huh? You saved my life once in Nam. I figured this makes us even. I guess it does. Next time, it might have to be different. I know. Go on, get the hell out of here. Damn him! Found his rifle laying up there. I'm the son of a son of a bitch. He's long gone by now. Somehow I've got to stop that man. We've got to get to him before he gets to the authorities. He won't do that. What makes you so sure? Why the hell should he? He doesn't need any damn help. He's killing all my men by himself. I know where he lives. Take care of him. What is this? Who are you? Who am I? A little man who spent 27 years of his life as a cop trying to put big shots like you away. 27 years in the filth and the dirt of the street. There ain't no music down there. You watch the people in the streets killing, raping each other, pumping dope through their veins while big men like you sit in the fancy penthouses. And yet the poor slob rot in hell. I know about you as long as it puts money in your pocket. Today, the nobodies who made you rich are gonna win. Die, you son of a bitch. So this is Mrs. Mike Danton. Well, well. Leave us. Your husband's caused me a great deal of trouble, Mrs. Danton. A great deal of trouble. He and I were once friends. Good friends. He's made me angry. Very angry. And I'm afraid, Mrs. Danton, you're going to have to suffer the consequences of your husband's actions. He'll kill you. That may very well be. But right now, I'm going to hurt him worse than he could ever hurt me. <laughs> Friend or enemy? I'm a friend. 
You're a liar. I got a present for you. Who the hell are you? Daddy! <laughs> Jamie, what have they done to you? He raped me, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Get him the hell out of here. Where is she? Worried about your little wife? <laughs> she better be alive. Maybe she is. I should kill you right now. Yeah, you should, but you won't. Not if you want to see your pretty little wife again. For you. Yeah, I got your woman here, Dad. Real nice little thing, and so soft. Hogan, if you've heard her, I swear to God. Shut up, Dad. What do you want, Hogan? You know what I want. I want you. Dead. Here's the deal. I get you, and she goes free. Not before. Let me talk to her. What's the matter, Dan? Don't you trust me? How do I know she's still alive? You don't. Now make a decision. You got three seconds. When and where? Sybil will bring you. And don't try anything stupid, Dan. I swear to God, I'll tear a fucking heart out with my own hands. Is that clear? It'll be over soon. Real soon. I'm gonna love watching you die. Fuck you. <laughs>
Looks to me like you're planning one hell of a surprise party. What do you want now, Cooper? I don't want anything. Have it. What now? You tell me. I came to help. Why? Because I don't like what they're doing here. Besides, you're probably going to kill them all anyway. I like being on the winning side. It's a lot healthier. Come on. Let's kick some ass. Any sign of him yet? No. Double the guard and Danton's wife. Tell him to stay alert. You got it. Please don't move. Going, buddy. What the hell was that? It's a McClellan card. I want you to stay here until I come back, Pete. Do you understand? Don't move. Don't make a sound. No matter what you hear, just stay here, okay? Thank you. 
Christ. Come on. him!
Colonel. <laughs> Got a present for you. Now he's gonna die. <laughs> Bitch. over with.
take it off. What? Take off your shirt before I cut you out from under it. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes! Run. No. No, you can't do this. Run! No! Sometimes I see all I can see. But I get tired of trying. Step by step, day after day. Sometimes life seems more than I can take. But I never say die. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.